All right, so an update on the uh, the intruder. As you could tell yesterday, I got it running. And uh, got one small problem, and that's the clutch. Um, I'm gonna, I'm waiting on the <laughs> the parts store to call me right now because uh, they were so busy. But uh, I'm gonna work on getting a rebuilt kit for this, and probably a rebuilt kit for the uh, hydraulic um thing for the clutch down there i can't remember the name of the damn thing but uh they'll know what i'm talking about but uh and the hydraulics for the front brakes is uh is bad too so i plan to get that taken care of with a rebuilt kit also other than that you know i've been riding for many years so i know how to ride a bike without using the clutch ain't the best idea in the world but uh I did learn one thing about this bike, in two words, effing fast, okay, this bike is quick to the drop right now, <laughs> quick to the drop right now, man, yeah, she, she shit can get real quick, so uh, my thoughts about getting a uh, another bike, because I was thinking something of a sports bike, I'm not going to need to, truthfully, I don't need to. Because uh, this bike has got enough balls in the court to where I don't need to get a, uh, a sport bike. It's uh shit, it, it's a full package in one. So uh, the thoughts of getting a third bike, unless I come across a real good deal like this one, I don't think it'll happen. Um, I haven't mentioned how much I paid for this bike. 700 bucks. Seven hundred dollars, but I mean there was a lot of work involved. You know the bike sat for six years. Okay, bike sat for six years, so I had to take the tank off, I had to clean the tank com completely. You know, that means you know, drain it all out and then take a uh, a thin chain, or you can use ball bearings. I didn't have any of them around and. After I thought about it, I didn't think that'd be a good idea anyway. But, uh, yep, took a thin chain. I'll show you that here in a minute. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Worked it in there and got it all cleaned out. I think I got a call coming in. Oh, that's, Bri that's I think that's my boy Brian sending me a message. But, uh, but yeah, so that's what's up. Um, so there was work involved, without a doubt. You know the the front brakes don't work at this moment, so there was there's work there left to do. Change out the uh, I think it's a cylinder or whatever. Um, do the anyway, fix this, fix that, and I don't know what exactly what all we're gonna have to do with the uh, down there at the brake caliper and all that, but uh, definitely you know I got this part come. I'm gonna go get this part today. I'm hoping if I got enough money on me, I'm gonna go get this and I'm gonna get those and see what happens from there. So it wasn't one of those just jump on it and run and ride, you know. Had to put some love to it to uh get it up and going. But oh she's a runner. God damn this bike is fast. <laughs> yeah. So uh there's your update on this uh, 1400 intruder made by Suzuki. One down, three up on the shift. And I mean, it's, it's fast. I mean, it is a lot faster than I remembered it being um, six years ago. Well, it was probably seven years ago when I wrote it. But, uh... Definitely had it out on the road last night and uh, and on the highway yesterday. And uh, no matter where I went, <laughs> uh, my my brother and uh, better half was sitting out here in the in the backyard, and they could hear me all around town. This bike is freaking loud. <laughs> so, uh, all right, I'm gonna get on out of here. God bless. Take care. You know who it is.
I'm out of here.